Hello. All right, so it's been like a week and a half that we've actually been living in the RV. We went out of town for a while, so I wanted to give you all an update on how things are working out so far. So a few things about the RV. Um, the couches are falling apart. Apparently that's normal for RV couches. This is 2017, so it's a little bit old, but it's just like sloughing off the vinyl. So kids are peeling it, but it's also like even the ones that the kids don't mess with is starting to come off just from normal usage, the, the main one over there. So apparently that's a pretty normal thing. There's cheap RV couches. Half the people are like just throw it away and the other half the people are like get a cover or some cloth and staple it on. So we'll see what we do. Um, there's also these. The floor vents were kind of busted. You can see it's cracked there. Uh, and the kids started pulling it off. So it's taped down right now. We gotta order some more of those because they're just plastic and three of our four or five are broken. I think we have five and three are broken. Also, this, I uh, think the kids must have like pulled the... You can take this up. It's got like a little thing there that holds the, sh the string. I think it like goes across and then it's supposed to come out the end and latch on there. And Of course, kids, so got to take it apart to see if I can fix that thing. Of course, kids. Yeah. We should make that thing with the other Then, uh, kids. this happened on the drive over. I guess it just popped loose or something. So just need to pull out the little nail gun and staple that back up. What else? Fix the nail gun, don't you? Nail it up. Wesley, get yeah. out of the bathroom. What else? All right. So right now we got a ton of tools here because we're about to head out and uh, had a bunch of tools I had to get out. The oven, we only used it once and it burned the pizza. So we're kind of wary of using that and there's like smoke everywhere before that so probably should have cleaned it out before we used it but what you're going to do. Uh, like counter space uh, is always at a premium. Still got like tools and stuff we're using. But I'm trying to do, be better about washing dishes as we use them because there's not a lot of space. So usually that's dirty dishes, then wash, rinse, and dry. So that's kind of working out. We got a big trash can here because gotta have that and then we're gonna do some painting so this is color testing our paint see which colors we want to do do some kind of bluish stuff and then also these we're thinking about painting so like that one over there is painted Ooh, we'll see how it turns out um the LEDs in this light fixture went bad I have another video where I showed how I fixed that but I had to take that apart and fix it because I don't know where to get your RV lights from and the bulbs on this one this one's brighter but it's got a few of the LED diodes are uh, going out. So this is the repaired one. Ooh, I don't know if it's actually brighter, but it's fixed. Brighter than it was, that's for sure. Yeah. And then there's a few spots. We just noticed this today. Got like a little crack up here with light. So gotta figure out what to do about that. And wasps are getting in somewhere. Might be that crack. It might be that crack. It might be from under the wardrobe, but you know, and it might just, it might just be yeah. one wasp. Yeah. But there keeps being like every day there's a wasp in here, and we gotta like chase it out. I haven't been able to kill it because it always yeah. lands on the screen windows, and I can't smash it against the screen without breaking the screen. So that's been fun. Um. Oh yeah. So here's the master. It's been squishy, but not horrible. This is also the office area. So we put our big giant TV up here and uh, we run a cable to connect our desktop, which is typically in here, but we took it out because we're going to be gone for a few days and we need it to work on. So I usually have the computer in here and then Carrie pulls out the stuff and just sits on the bed and has the big giant TV screen that she works from. Hey, there's me. Um, and then the rest of the LED lights that I didn't use to fix that light fixture, I put up there. It looks so great. Some mood lighting. You don't know that song? I think it's Kenny G. I don't know that song. Does that sit on me? 
see here. Apparently. Huh? I'm just doing a video, bud. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. anything else about the inside? Um, those blinds are gross. Those blinds are gross, but they were always gross. We're doing little things like uh, putting this paper towel holder up that we need new paper towels on. Uh, there's some soft spots in the floor, and I don't know if it's a defect or just crappy RV, but like you can tell where all the seams are if you walk barefoot because it kind of bends down. Like there's one over here and one over there. Basically, every four feet there's a seam and it's bendy. Um, so the outside. Hey, don't play with that. You have your own. That is not for you to play with. Woo! Into the Texas soon. So, right now we are still at an RV park in Spur because it's taking forever to get our land set up. Um, so, I built this washer dryer box to put our washer and dryer in so we can do laundry because there's no laundromat and uh, that costs money anyway. But I don't know how much I spent on building this thing. But I'll show you guys. I need to put a roof on it still. So, got washer and dryer inside. It's just uh, some 3 8 plywood and 2 by 4s with some door hinges. And then a latch, because we're in Texas, so wind. We just painted it today. Got a little opening for the uh, dryer access. So, until we get the shed and office built, this is our laundry room. And then uh, once we get those built, maybe we'll turn it into a doghouse or something. So this is our mess of water and power and everything. So we got our main water supply going into the RV. The green one has been what I've used for hooking up the washer and then uh, flushing out the tanks and anything else we need. So what I did here was I put a 220 plug in there and then ran some 10 gauge wire to this RV plug. So this is a 50 amp or 220 plug. Um, and so whenever we need to run the dryer, I just unplug the RV. And actually, this is a 30 amp plug over there that's on our same meter. So what I've been doing is I have a 30 amp adapter. So I'll put the 30 amp adapter on our 50 amp and plug our RV in there so we still have some lights and the AC is going. And then I'll plug the dryer in here while we're running the dryer and then just swap them back later. That way we have power. And then I've got this little electrical boop, cable, power cord, extension cord. Yeah, extension cord. That's going over here and that feeds into the washing machine. So this is the washer, this is the dryer. And then these two hoses, we really only need one because we're just running cold water to the washing machine right now. But since I have both hoses from the hot and cold, I just put a splitter on those just so stuff won't get in there or whatever. So, not super duper professional, but it is what it is. And then, this is my exhaust hole. I should put a pipe on there, but again, lazy. And the dryer's like butted up right against it, so I'm not too worried about that for a temporary solution. And then the dryer drain hose, which apparently you actually have to have it go down and then up and then down again to the drain. Or it will n it'll never fill. Like, it, it just always drains. So I didn't know that about washing machines, but that's how it works. So usually, you know, you get your your washer drain, this black one, and it'll go up and it'll sit inside the drain that's like up in the wall. You have your washer box with the hot and the cold and the drain there, and it's up. It's gotta do that so that the washer can work right. So I looped it up here through the water lines and then got a second one and plugged into it into this capped thing. So usually when we're running the wa washing machine, I just pull that up and stick the tube down there. This is our drain system. Boop. Going under here, so this is our sewage line. Ah, it's a Dimitri. Okay, so this is our sewage line. And uh, I saw a few people saying that you should do a pee here, so I did a little pee trap. Pee trap. So there's water sitting in there. 
that way bugs and whatever because there are some like sewage flies or something they won't come in and then I've got a slope on it so hopefully it slopes down enough to where it's draining and not just sitting water there all the time but I'm sure there's some in there so right now I've got our gray open all the time and our black is closed so that's all the poop the poop one is closed um, until that tank fills up and then I open it and uh, flush it so I can hook up another water hose here and spray fresh water into the black tank to clean it all out so I usually just run it until we've got clear water coming out that's nice that I've got the little clear el elbow there going down so I can see it's kind of gross but not too bad really you say black water and it's not really black water it's more like uh, light brown water most of the time um, so that's our setup again we're here in Spur so this is just a little tiny RV park that's parked there I don't think anybody's ever actually been in there though and then we got one two two spots in between us and then us and there was another RV here when we first got here but they moved that like the second or third day we were here so it's just been us it's pretty much a neighborhood here it's not really like super remote or anything um, but it's nice we got nice shade trees and then our lot is actually like half a mile that way so it's super close which is nice and the kids like playing out here in the dirt with the ants. There's lots of ants. But mostly they leave us alone. The big ants don't really like to get you unless you're real mean to them. And the little ants are the tiny little ones that don't really bug you either. So. I think so. We're ready? Yeah. Alright, we're heading out. we got to go back to Cruces to uh, finish packing up. Get our house ready to sell. So, we're going to shut it down. Head back to... Uh, the mainland. Thanks for uh oh there's mosquitoes in Texas too by the way. By the way, mosquitoes. Uh, but yeah. So that's that's the RV life so far. We don't know how much we love it, but it's doable.